Hi, I'm Teresa with Inflectra. I'll be providing a series of short videos to help you get started using Spira. This includes all the additions of the system, Spira Test, Spira Team, and Spira Plan. In today's video, we'll look at planning releases using Spira Team and Spira Plan. So let's get started. For Spira Team and Spira Plan, we can use the planning board to assign requirements to specific releases and sprints. To access the planning board, we'll use our artifact drop-down menu and select the planning board option. Here we're looking at our product backlog and we don't have any components to find for this product, so let's switch that to by priority. Now you can see a story card for each of the requirements. You can choose how much information is displayed on the story cards. In this basic detail view, you can see the task progress, along with the number of tasks and test cases for each requirement. You can show individual task and test case progress bars on the cards as well. There's also a standard view, which is a much smaller card for if you're working with many requirements and need to conserve screen space. I'll revert back to my detailed view here. Now we can easily drag and drop cards to the different priorities. The refresh button will update the color coding of the cards as you move them. Spira also shows the stack order with a large gray number. This allows you to set a relative priority in the groupings. So now that we've prioritized our backlog, we're ready to begin to plan our release. So we'll change our planning to release 1.0, and we'll use the group by sprint. We'll expand our unassigned items to find our requirements there. And you can see that for the sprints and releases, the system is showing an available hours. This is based on the number of resources and the calendar time for that release or sprint. As items are assigned to the different sprints, the utilized time increases, showing that scheduled time. And then the remaining time is just the difference between the time remaining in the iteration and that scheduled time. Should you exceed the available hours for a release, Spira will shade that column and release in red. You can see too that the children sprint hours are rolling up to the parent. The planning board can also show incidents. This product doesn't have any incidents, so let's move to a product that has some incidents. Here I'll expand my unassigned items and I'll enable incident cards for the planning board. Now we can assign incidents and requirements, managing that work all from the planning board view. Thanks for watching this Spira planning board video today. We have more Spira explainer videos for you to explore on this channel. Check them out now.